Welcome back to Codes Empire, my friends. I'm Jason, and I'm here with Bolt. So, you can see we have some new tires. Um, my local hobby shop, uh, a couple of guys kind of talked me into them, and so I thought, why not? I'll go ahead and I'll get them, and I'll give them a whirl. So, these are the Pitbull tires. Okay, um, I really like the fact of how soft this compound really is. It reminds me of uh, the Super Swampers, the Proline Super Swampers. Um, it's similar to that G8 material that they use in those. It's very, it's very sticky and it's super soft. The one thing I really like about is the tread pattern. Uh, the tread pattern, in my opinion, is really neat. Um, it has a very scaled look. Uh, you, you can see some of the, the little cuts in the actual tire itself, um, similar to like a regular one-to-one -one tire. Um, some of those are actually to help gripping in you know, icy situations, things like that. Um, they work really well. These tires have a two-stage foam that actually comes in them. And I'll pop this open real quick and I'll show you. So inside, you can see you've got your foam that goes against the rim and you've got your uh, foam on the very outside of the tire. So you, you've got two different densities of foam, which is really, really neat. Um, it definitely makes a huge difference. I mean, shoot, without the foam, you can see how really soft that tire is. I mean, it's it's soft. It's, it's almost ridiculous how soft that is. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna run these with our axial uh, eight hole uh, bead locks right there you can see we've got one set already mounted up and we're gonna mount up the other set um, I love it the fact they come with a sticker pack that's kind of cool um, and probably definitely going to throw a couple stickers on bolt here so uh, like I said I'm just super impressed with the way they look how they feel and I cannot wait to get them out on the trail. Uh, let me show you real quick as far as comparison to the Trepidors. Um, I was actually, I kind of had them lined up after I put them together and I was in quite impressed with how close to the same size they really are. So they are 1.9s, uh, very similar in size. Everything about them, these are a tad bit wider, which will be pretty slick, I think, in my opinion. But overall, they are very, very soft. Um, very excited to get those out. Uh, just real quick, just wanted to show you. We did finally get our cooler with our Coca-Cola bottles put into Bolt. So that's kind of cool. Along with, he's got his uh, Coke bottle down there in the middle. So neat little addition. And of course, uh, a Coke can in the back, you know. So anyways, just had to showcase that off. So what we'll do here is, like I said, uh, off camera real quick, I will go ahead and I'll get these uh, installed on the rims and then we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna do a quick test run for you guys. So you can see how it kind of handles just in the snow and the icy conditions. Um, we recently had some rain kind of warmed up and melted a bunch of the snow. So. We'll give it a whirl and test it out, see how it handles. So I'm kind of excited. I uh, can't wait to 
see, man. Gosh, these look, these just, something about them, they just look cool, and, and every, a lot of people, they're talking, you know, this is kind of a, a real good, uh, trail tire, you know, for competitions anyways, so, uh, definitely worth to look into, or worth to buy. Um, they are a bit more expensive, they are, as far as tires, um, they're probably the most expensive tires I've purchased now so I think they'll be worth it and I can't wait so I'm gonna get them on the rims and I'll show you guys how they handle out on the trail well guys we've got these pit bull tires on now and wow all I can say is wow they're impressive yeah, you can see the trucks lit up. It's ready to go out on the trail. We're ready to give it a whirl and test it out. Um, we did throw some stickers on it real quick just to show you. We threw the Pitbull stickers. We got it on both sides. So I um, just wanted to show that. Uh, you can see these tires. I mean, they are impressive. I love them. The, the look just looks awesome now before we hit the trail well the backyard anyways see that bumper back there I was gonna say something real quick before we hit the get outside with this that's a proline bumper that is uh, the narrow one so if anybody's thinking about wanting to throw a bumper on their G6 and you're kinda going gosh you know I'd like to do something cuz you do you, you see the frame rail down below and everything and it just shows that off I wanted to put a bumper under there so I did you know um, had to get the rear mounts for the bumper to put on that so we could mount that but yeah that's the proline narrow bumper mount so I think it looks really slick I love the look of it overall I'm pretty pleased with it so in case anybody is thinking about that on their G6. Um, and you can see there's no interference back there, so should be pretty good. Um, still have that slick look that you want. Also, we did put the TS-01 uh, uh, G-Made shocks on there with the RC four-wheel drive uh, boots. We did the blue ones. I thought the blue would be a nice contrast, but I just wanted to show that off. Let's go outside and let's go test this out and have some fun here, okay? Let's go, guys.
Well guys, you got to see that kind of fun adventure. Um, and we really put these uh, pit bull tires to the test. I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, to be honest with you, I mean, you got to see it. It's, in my opinion, it's like almost having tire chains on. Uh, that thing really can grab hold and pull its own. And even when the axles were hanging up a little bit in some of the snow and stuff, they really, it just would pull itself through. I was real surprised. Um, I can't tell you the number of times these trepidors, I'd be getting hung up and stuff and having issues with those. So in all reality, uh, these Pitbull tires, they're the 1.9s, and I'm sure the 2.2s, I mean, gosh, I'm, I'd be half tempted to get some of them for some of my other bigger rigs. Um, but I'm thoroughly impressed with these. So uh, they really fling the dirt and junk. I kind of played around. Some of the footage you won't see totally, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got mud and junk all over it. So that's cool but um yeah the snow is uh leaking off of it still and it was definitely worth the purchase so um yes a little pricey but worth it and i think come springtime when we start to get all the rocks revealed and we can start crawling on rocks i think i'm going to be quite impressed with the way it grabs hold of rocks so I would recommend if you're looking at wanting to get some of these pit bull tires, I would recommend them. I really would. So uh, they're worth it, definitely. So enjoy, and thanks for watching with Codes Empire, my friends. We'll see you next time.